Your content business is doomed in 2024 unless you understand what I'm about to talk about in this video. So this strategy I'm about to show you has allowed me to go from charging just a few hundred dollars to basically any client I could get and constantly feeling like I had to chase the next client to working with some of the top companies in the world. Companies like Adobe, TripAdvisor, Four Seasons, Weston, Marriott, and a whole lot more. And it's also allowed me to charge mid five figure rates. So I'm talking 20 to $40,000 per project to the exact same companies that told other creators, they only work on a free collab basis. So the reason I believe the average creator, photographer, videographer, filmmaker, whatever is doomed in 2024 is because of what I started to experience back in 2021. And to be honest, you probably experienced some of the same thing. Number one is that there's a hundred times more competition now than there even was like two years ago. I mean, everyone's a photographer. You can go get the latest iPhone or you can get a cheap mirrorless camera and a preset pack and you can create some pretty decent images. Now, obviously there's a difference between a professional that's been doing it for years and somebody who just picked up a camera, but these people are starting to get better faster because the barrier of entry is so low. Now, because there's so much competition entering the marketplace, it becomes increasingly harder to charge the rates that allow you to afford a lifestyle, let alone pay your bills, because so many people are willing to do free collab projects, free trades, or even cheap and discounted work. I mean, maybe you've seen it yourself. There's Instagram pages out there completely dedicated to how to travel for free or how to get free stays or how to get free products. And there's very talented people who are willing to work for free. I mean, you've probably seen it yourself firsthand where you reach out to a brand and they say, hey, no, we only work on a free collab basis or we only work on free trades or, oh, we found somebody who works cheaper than you and they blow you off because they found someone cheaper. Or maybe you're able to charge a few hundred bucks per project, but you feel like you have to take on way too many projects every single month just to be able to afford your bills. You're probably even afraid to scale your business because you think that that means taking on more clients. And if you can't charge them enough, then you start to get burned out and you start to lose your passion for why you're in this business to begin with. Maybe you're even how I was back then where you want to maintain complete control over your own business because you don't trust that other people can do as good of a job as you. Plus the business is inconsistent anyway, so you don't think you can even afford to hire somebody. And what this does is it makes you a slave to your own business because you're a one man show or a one woman show. And maybe because you're burnt out, you've started to lose that creative drive and passion that you got in the business to begin with for. Also, because there's so much competition coming in, you can't charge as much, you actually have to work twice as hard just to stay in the same position, let alone even scale. And lastly, and maybe even most importantly, you can't invest into getting more clients because if you spend money on ads, you can't charge enough to be able to justify it. So you actually lose money acquiring clients. So it just doesn't even make sense. So if this sounds like what you are experiencing, this is what I call the creative slave flywheel. And like I said, I was on this back in 2021. So here's how it works. Basically, you start with a commoditized offer. It's something that so many other people sell. It's short form video, photography, videography, lifestyle photos, whatever it might be. It's something that a thousand other creators are also selling. And because so many people are selling it, you have a low closing rate because you don't differentiate yourself from the competition. On top of that, you don't have a consistent client acquisition system. You're relying on things like word of mouth, maybe social media inbound, hopefully they'll come or referrals. But the problem is it's pretty feast or famine. So if you don't have clients coming in, then you feel like you have to take on any project that will pay you. And also because of this, you're forced to charge low ticket prices because they can just compare you to anybody else and you don't want to lose that job, right? So you charge low ticket prices, basically the minimum amount that you would be happy with getting paid in order to do this job. But here's the problem with charging low ticket prices. Number one, you're not making that much. But number two is you don't have the margin to be able to afford to hire people with your business operations. So you can't hire editors, second shooters, other production teams or anything like that. So you end up being a one man show. You do all the work yourself. And that means that you can't put as much effort and time and care into each individual client because you can't charge enough to justify spending a week on a project. So as a result, you get average results for the client because it's basically the same as what everyone else does. And you also deliver it on a slower time frame because you don't have anyone helping you out. So now because your client experience is not any better than anybody else's, you can't retain your current clients, meaning they don't stay on retainer. Uh, you don't get any referrals and you don't have any leverage to be able to invest in better clients that can actually afford you. And around and around it goes until you make a change. So if you're like how I was back in 2021, maybe you're still in this honeymoon phase where you're just like stoked, which it totally is, right? Or maybe you're in a position where you still have like a normal nine to five job, but you're also doing the creative stuff on the side and you're just like, I really wish that I could do that full time. Or maybe you just took the leap to do this full time and you were just like on a high, on a buzz because you're like, yes, finally I'm living my passion. But if you've gotten past that honeymoon phase, then you'll have realized that running your own business, because that's what we're doing here as content creators, is actually in a lot of ways
plays a lot more stressful than having just a normal job because you don't have a set clock in and clock out option. You have to be on all the time. And this is especially true if you don't have consistent incoming clients. Because here's the deal, you're gonna go to bed with work on your mind, you're gonna wake up with work on your mind, you're gonna hang out with friends and family with work on your mind, you're gonna pet your dog, you're gonna watch shows, you're gonna do life with work on your mind because you're constantly stressed of where that next paycheck is coming from, where that next client is coming from, and you just don't know. But luckily, I did find a way off the Creative Slave flywheel, and it's what I call the Growth Creator flywheel. So it's really just a complete shift of mindset in terms of how to approach your business, and it's what's allowed me to go from getting the free trade projects or being price shopped against every other creator out there to being able to charge $40,000 for a single project. And it's also allowed me to have the freedom to choose which clients I want to work with, which projects I want to work with, how much I actually charge, and ultimately help other creators like you be able to implement this for themselves. So here's how the Growth Creator flywheel works. So we start with what I call a brand bridge offer, which essentially means that we're going to solve every single problem that the brand might face when working with us. So we're not just going to give them pretty pictures to post on Instagram or pretty pictures to put on their website. We're going to actually solve every single one of the problems. Now, because our offer is so much different than every other creator out there, we can't be compared to them. So we can actually charge a whole lot more. Now, on top of that, we actually pair it with a consistent client acquisition system. So when we have a no brainer offer, something that a brand would be willing to renegotiate their quarterly budget for, and we have consistent clients coming in, we don't feel like we're forced to take on any project that we're offered because we have new leads coming in and we're able to justify our higher prices because we're so much different and so much better than the competition. Now, because we have those two factors, we can now charge higher ticket rates. And I'm talking minimum $3,000, which honestly, you can charge a whole lot more than that. I have clients that have charged $19,000 for a single project, but I wouldn't recommend doing any lower than 3,000 because you just won't have much margin to work with. But speaking of margin, the advantage of charging high ticket is number one, you get paid more, but number two, you have more margin to be able to afford people to help you out with your business. You can hire editors, second shooters, production teams, people to help you close deals, people to help you do outbound. You can invest in systems for clients. And overall, you can get your clients a way better experience, way faster results, and way better results than any other creator out there. And now because a client has a better experience with us, we can retain them better. They give us a better case study, which we can then reinvest into getting more clients and also better clients so that we can charge more and justify our price. So that's how the growth creator flywheel works in a nutshell. But one of the biggest questions I get is, well, how can we charge these high ticket rates? Because aren't we just going to be compared to everybody else? But here's the thing. We can't be compared to everyone else because we're charging on a completely different level. So what we do is we charge based on the potential outcome and the likelihood of that potential outcome actually happening. So instead of charging based on time, like day rates or hourly rates, or based on how much we're going to spend and outsourcing to our team, we're actually charging based on what the potential outcome for the client is. So this model, the growth creator model, is the exact model that I was able to leverage to charge five figures to a brand that actually told another creator that had comparable work to me that they only do free trade projects. And the crazy thing is what allows me to charge more is not things like, you know, giving them more deliverables or using better gear or just being a better, more talented creator in general, or really any of these things that other broke creators are telling you to focus on in their courses. So what I decided to do was focus on the things that the people that are actually making money in this industry focus on. So that's production companies and marketing agencies. And what they focus on is one word and it's leverage. Now in its basic sense, leverage is just getting more output out of the same input. And there's a lot of ways that you can use leverage in your business, but I'm going to go over four and how you can use them in your content creator business today. So number one is leveraging a better offer. So we talked about having a brand bridge offer, something that solves every single problem for the brand. When you have a better offer, you can charge a whole lot more and you don't get compared to the competition because you appear to be a one of one creator in the eyes of the brand. The second thing is leverage and client acquisition. So if we're relying on word of mouth, referrals, social media, or all these other things that in a lot of ways kind of rely on luck, then we're not leveraged in our client acquisition because it's extremely inconsistent. So what we need to do is have a consistent system to get you on calls, to get you closed deals, and also get you out of the trenches so that it happens regardless of if you want to work and show up or not. The third one is leverage in pricing. So we talked about how high ticket pricing is a much better way to go because you're able to not only make more, but also be able to reinvest into your business, into team, into client acquisition, which brings me to the fourth and final one, which is leverage in your fulfillment, which because we're charging more, we can afford to hire editors or second shooters or a production team or a strategist or whoever it might be that allows us to get the client a better result. And by the way, if there's an aspect of the business you don't really like, or you think you're not as good at, you can hire someone that's better than you or hire someone that can do it. Or say you just don't want to do a project in general. Well, we can hire someone to go do that as well. By the way, that's what the marketing agencies and the production companies do. So what I began to realize is 
that if I'm charging 20 times the rate that I used to, like for example, if I went from charging $300 to charging $6,000, it didn't mean that I had to be a 20 times better creator. It didn't mean I had to be 20 times better at cinematography or 20 times better at storytelling or even 20 times better at sales. And to be honest, if you're at the skill level that you're at now, it's probably impossible for you to get 20 times better at each individual skill. And even if you could, it would take you forever to get there. So what I began to realize is the people running the production companies and marketing agencies, they weren't 20 times better than me. They're not 20 times better than you. They're just playing a different game and you need to play a different game too. So we already talked about the creator slave flywheel and how it keeps you broke. But one of the main aspects of that flywheel is that you charge low ticket pricing. Now, when you charge low ticket prices, like what most creators do, you actually end up attracting the types of people that can quote unquote afford you, which will want discounts, they'll want you to do stuff for free, they'll want you to do a whole lot more than what they originally asked you for. And they're just a whole lot more hassle in general. So because these are the people you attract and the way you present yourself, now you have less revenue. You also don't have any money to outsource and you just get overall worse client results, which means that you feel overworked. You start losing your passion. You start losing your drive because you have to take on so many more clients just to stay in the same place. Now, here's the difference. When you start charging high ticket prices, which by the way, you can't just start charging high ticket. You have to have a reason for it, which is why the growth creator flywheel exists with the brand bridge offer and the client acquisition system. But once you start charging these high ticket prices, then we start attracting the types of clients that actually vibe with that, that vibe with your vision and actually want to hire you because of that. Now, because they're paying you higher ticket prices, you have access to more funds to be able to hire people to outsource, to help you out. But you also get freedom to choose which clients you want, choose which projects you want, choose what you actually want to do on the project. And ultimately, you just get more freedom of time and freedom of choice. And what this does is it allows you to get in a flow where you do only the things you want to do and everything else, you can have other people on your team that take care of it that, by the way, might even be better than you were. And that is why charging high ticket rates is so important. So what I began to realize is once I implemented Precision's prospecting and the growth creator model, I have more freedom as a creator than I ever had before in my entire life. And I've been doing this for six years professionally. Never before was I able to pick and choose which clients I want, turn down clients I didn't want to work with, or even be able to outsource work to other people that I wasn't as good at or that I didn't know how to do. On top of that, I've been able to go on amazing trips around the world and work with luxury resorts and amazing brands where, by the way, they're covering the bill, they're paying for the flights, they're paying for the hotel, they're paying for the food, they're paying for all this stuff, and they're paying me on top of it because I'm actually providing a service that's necessary for them. And the best part is I have other people doing my editing, my outbound, my sales, so I don't have to focus on every little piece of my business and I can just focus on the stuff I want to do and the rest of it I know is handled. But let's be honest, this freedom is not possible if you're stuck on that creative slave flywheel where there's so much competition and everyone's price gouging each other and you have to undercut and you have to discount and you have to take on every project you possibly can. There's no way you can build a sustainable lifestyle off that. So what I started to do is I started to reverse engineer what the marketing agencies or the production companies were doing to be able to charge these high ticket rates at ease and apply it to my own business. So I was able to get off that creative slave flywheel and move on to the growth creator flywheel using a process I now call precision prospecting. So if you're a creator who's tired of dealing with all the competition, who's tired of hearing things like we don't have the budget or we only work on a free trade basis or constantly having to chase the next client, then I want to invite you to apply to the paid to create program. So what's the paid to create program? Well, what I realized is that so much of the free information out there and even the paid information is actually doing a massive disservice to people and it's actually keeping you stuck exactly where where you're at. And the reason why is because you're competing against everyone else because this information they give, the scripts or the templates or whatever, is the exact same information that thousands of other people are copy and pasting and sending to brands. So likely, if you've ever signed up for a course or an ebook or any of that kind of stuff and gotten really terrible results or nothing, that's likely why, because everyone else is doing the exact same thing. And to be honest, that's why I don't share scripts on my YouTube videos. I just don't think they help anybody. But what I've realized is that tons of people are learning concepts. Tons of people start to understand it, but they still remain broke because they haven't fully committed. So if we're talking about how to grow, growth is really the rate of learning plus the rate of implementation. So if we're learning all this stuff on YouTube and watching hours and hours, it's great and all, but if we're not implementing anything, then what's the point? We're just kind of wasting our time. If you want to learn concepts, like that's a great place to go, but that's not the bottleneck because it's available. The bottleneck is changing the behaviors or starting new ones that lead to the actions that actually create growth. And that's what's keeping creators stuck from actually scaling their business. So in other words, I've found that I personally was a problem for my business and I personally was the bottleneck because I knew what to do. I knew the frameworks. I knew the success roadmap and all this kind of stuff. But you know, then a day would come that I'm lazy or that I'm too busy or I'm doing a shoot or I don't have time or I come up with some other excuse for why I shouldn't do the action that's necessary for me to be able to succeed. So what I realized is I had to get my own self out of my own way. And that's really what 
what the Pay to Create program is, is it's getting you out of the way of your own success. So what we're gonna do is we'll actually give you access to the systems, the frameworks, the people required to get you out of your own way so that your business can actually run and the most important things that have to be done every single day get done regardless of if you're tired, if you're lazy, if you don't wanna do it, or if you're just tired of getting rejected. And on top of that, you can move a whole lot faster because you have less decisions to make because everything's already laid out for you. I mean, just to give you an example, we have a pricing calculator where you can literally be on a call with a client and instead of taking like three days saying, hey, I'll get back to you and then they ignore you or ghost you or whatever, you can actually go in and figure out based on their licensing option, where they want to use it, how much time they need it for, how long the project's going to take, how many deliverables. You can figure all this stuff out on a calculator in about 12 seconds on a call with a client and be able to give them a legitimate quote right off the bat and know that it's actually something that's reasonable. Another example is sales. Like a lot of creators don't have any experience with sales. They hate it. They don't want to do it, but we actually make it simple and fun. Like for example, Cynthia had never charged more than a few thousand dollars for a project. The beauty company booked me for 19,000. Yes! <laughs> That's awesome! Let's go! Yes, they That's went with so the 19,000. Cool. Thank you. Yes. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. You pushed me. Push me to do that. But she recently landed a $19,000 product photo shoot because we used the frameworks available in the program so that she could actually land that. And by the way, the client originally said the top of their budget was 15K when she first talked about this and she was able to get them up to $19,000. So here's how it works. Number one, you're gonna get access to course modules that cover every phase of the business. So number one, you have to be able to generate your own attention, generate your own leads, get in front of the people that'll actually hire you. Number two, you have to be able to educate and pre-frame those people so they understand why you are different, why you're one of one and why they need you and also need to renegotiate their budget so they can actually afford to hire you. Number three, we're going to show you how to get on a sales call so you can convert these people into sales at high ticket rates. So once you join, you're actually going to jump on an onboarding call with myself where we're going to walk through who your target audience is, who you're trying to work with, and we're going to craft a custom offer specifically for you as well as pricing plans and all that kind of stuff. So you'll know exactly what to do moving forward. You're also going to have one-on-one -on -one support with myself. So you can text me via Slack or we can jump on a one-on-one -on -one call where we can answer whatever questions you have or if you uh, you know want to know a certain angle of how to approach a company, we can talk about that. If you're taking a sales call, we can role play where I'll pretend to be the client, you be you, and we just kind of go through it and I'll give you all kinds of different objections and show you how to handle those. So ultimately, my goal is to get you to a six-figure run rate over the course of these next 90 days. So in addition to everything I just mentioned, you're also going to get exclusive access to a few bonuses, including our pricing calculator, uh, our FOMO calculator, all the templates we use, including contract templates, proposal templates, NDAs, model releases, basically any kind of form you possibly need. And by the way, these have been sent to Fortune 500 companies reviewed by their marketing managers as well as their lawyers. And they have resulted in tons of closed deals for both myself and our clients. You're also gonna get access to our hiring playbook. So this is the exact frameworks that you can use to go hire editors, second shooters, salespeople, whatever it might be, as well as contracts and onboarding, training, all that kind of stuff you're gonna have access to. And lastly, you're gonna have a personalized dashboard so you can track your success throughout the program so you can make sure you're on track for your goals. So if you're tired of dealing with with the competition and you're ready to start scaling your business the real way, the way the production companies and marketing agencies do, go ahead and click that link below to apply to the Pay to Create program. You're gonna fill out your information as well as a form that's going to talk about whatever your biggest pain point is. And if we think that you might be a fit, then you can get on a call with my director of creator growth where he's gonna walk you through our process, how you can apply it to your business. And at that point, you'll have the option of either taking these frameworks and applying them yourselves, or you can use our frameworks, our templates, our systems, everything that we already have in-house, leverage those in your your business to be able to get results a whole lot faster. So if that sounds like something that you want in your business and you're ready to take that next step to actually start operating your business like a real production company, then go ahead and click that link below to apply to the Paid to Create program. And we cannot wait to talk to you soon because you owe it to yourself to be great. We'll see you there.